The recent loss of life in Manipur is, of course, tragic, and every humane individual sincerely hopes for a quick end to the violence. But the situation does aptly illustrate what I keep trying to educate Westerners about, the distinctiveness of Indian democracy. Uh, India is running a successful liberal democracy with, with genuinely liberal policies in an environment where it's possible to have up to 60 people killed in rioting as a result of controversies over a simple social policy question of reservations uh, for government jobs and entry into educational institutions. Now, those kind of policies exist in other Western democracies like the United States and the European Union and certainly here in Australia, but they're not so deadly. They're not so deadly controversial in countries that have 10 to 20 times the national income per capita of India. Um, these kinds of issues in a similar liberal democracy result in much higher stakes in a poor country than they do in a rich country like Australia. The real difference between India and Australia or the United States or the United Kingdom is not the level of democracy. It's the level of income, which changes the way democracy operates by changing the stakes of democratic decision making. The stakes simply aren't so high when it comes to something like the outcome of an election or the determination of a social policy, a court decision here in Australia, the US or UK. The stakes are very high in India.